We're out here. What? What's that for? We're out here. Yeah, we are. We are out here. We're getting ready to drive for six hours or so. It's going to be amazing. Purple brush is this? We're officially out here in New Mexico. So, out of Star's country, unfortunately. Closer to Arizona, Coyote's country. Is there a team in New Mexico, Logan? Um, no. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Leah? How's it going? I'm working on my Rumble Strip Ryan posts. Yes, there's a sub-series to this vlog on Leah's Instagram. Follow her at Leah Adams underscore 19 and you can see rumble strip ryan he is up there in the rv and every so often he'll just uh he'll go for the rumble strips just he'll take a, a right slowly but surely drive on him for a bit it's a good time copyrighted music not a sponsor but if the weekend wants to sponsor this vlog i should <laughs> totally totally be okay with that I'm not typically a back-facing camera guy, but just look at this landscape. This is immense. And there's Logan. Hang on, there's a semi. I'm gonna also face it the other way. It's amazing. Our man, Ryan Cole, AKA Edson, has just stopped the RV for some reason. We don't know why. Also, Logan's pinky finger started cramping up at one point. Yeah, it was really weird. It started shaking uncontrollably. And I went and did this number right here, a nice little stretch. Oh, yeah. And it helped a lot. So, if your pinky finger ever starts cramping up, you just got to do that. Moral of the story, two great ways to prevent injuries are strength training and stretching. Comment in the comment section below, what's the worst cramp you've ever had? <laughs> and let me know. So Logan and I are here to explain how the entire system of, well, like probabilities and yeah. whatnot is just a myth. So everything in life either happens or it doesn't, and therefore there there's a 50-50 chance of everything. Is this how it should be explained, Logan? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's... You can't disprove it. Exactly. And if something cannot be disproven, it is essentially <laughs> it must be proven. <laughs> like, when people start talking about, like, oh, you know, you've got, like, a one in whatever chance of getting struck by lightning, I come back at that and say, no, you're either going to get struck by lightning or you're not, and therefore, it's a 50-50 shot. And, you know, in Settlers of Catan... Not a sponsored video, but if they want to sponsor me, that's okay. Um, you know, you've got, like, the... Ah! Sorry about that. <laughs> you've got the dice, and it's like, oh, you've got, like, a greater chance of rolling, like, a six or an eight. Because, supposedly, like, multiple number combinations can come up with six or eight, but only, you know one number combination can come up with 12. Which doesn't have, doesn't even make sense. That doesn't, like, yeah, it's like, like, no. No. It's, you're either gonna roll a 12 or you're not. <laughs> like, that's the whole <laughs> point of what I'm saying. Like, you're either gonna roll an eight or you're not. It's a 50-50 shot. Prove me wrong. I know you can't, but try to in the comments below. Um, try and get me to buy into the lie of the entire system of probabilities that our universities are deceiving people with. Logan, any other thoughts? Nope. I would love to see people fail to explain it, though, yeah. in the comments. Any questions, email Chris Heil. His email is probably <laughs> cheil at cedarville.edu. Yeah. He'd love to talk to you about this. He loves this. talking about this. <laughs> this is his favorite law. Just look at that. It is immense. Look at that big, tall thing. I don't know, a plateau or just a hill. Definitely not tall enough to be a mountain, probably, but it's pretty big. Also, this is uh, not sponsored by Demi Lovato, but if she wants to sponsor this vlog, I'd be fine with that. <laughs>
we're out here at the Blue Hole in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. It's Asher from Asher TV. Asher, your hair looks sweet. Thanks. Hold the camera and talk for a while. Oh, hey, guys. Good. I don't think you can see that good, but uh, um, I'm just out here with the boys and the fam, and we're just looking at Blue Hole, and I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, we're going to have a lot of fun, so I, I can't really think of anything else so I've done all of so yeah, I should go. Yeah, How you doing? Good. You look beautiful. Thank you. Just saw the blue hole. I'll probably put some pictures of it. It's uh, just like an 80 foot hole of water. Blue hole. Yep. It's exactly what the description says. And Leah's out here. She's so excited. And Asher's out here. Let's go, boy! Alright, so we just left Blue Hole in Santa Rosa, New Mexico, and... Um, we literally almost got arrested. Uh, we, uh, we were doing so many illegal things, and then a police officer drove by. First of all, Blue Hole's closed. Second of all, we parked this giant thing on the side of the road for at least a half an hour, 45 there were, minutes. And there were definitely, it wasn't the kind of road where there were parking spots, it was the kind of road where there were no parking spots. So, or, naturally, a cop pulls over and my dad's like, oh, time to go. So we just ran away mm -hmm. and the cop's no longer following us, which is pretty cool. So. Yeah, it was, it was a close one. And to make matters worse, Ryan's hazard lights were just blinking for a while. <laughs> like mm -hmm. drawing attention to himself so but what? uh yeah the he's somewhere over there somewhere. he's like right there i don't know anyways okay all right i'm updating for joey we are in new mexico going through some mountains so here's a view of where we're at right now it is immense joey how many times have you been in the mountains before um like zero other than when we were on our honeymoon and we went to Mount Rainier but never really like this I'll look at that to the right real quick like outside that is just amazing it is absolutely incredible gorgeous they're, they're just all over the place and the rocks are so cool we, Logan and I love rocks so rocks are awesome yeah <laughs> We are out here at the Petroglyph National Monument. Logan, were you going to say something? Mm -mm. Oh, I thought I heard you make a noise. So, I don't really have anything else other to say than that. I don't know what this is, so we're about to find out. We are out here, and we are excited to hike. Asher, how you feeling? What's up, man? He's got the Ash. GoPro. Yellow buddy banana. <laughs> buddy banana. And Gideon has the Yellow GoPro one. as well. Yes. We're about to get some sweet footage. Yes, that we are. And Maddie does not have a GoPro, but she's still excited. And she's got her Chacos. Oh, yeah. The Chaco squad. Of course. Ash. Shiloh, are you excited for this hike? Yes. Toon, are you excited for this hike? You got your yes. new Keens on? Watch out for damn rattlesnakes, Hannah. Whoa, I'm accidentally zoomed in still. We got some real nice landscape. This is uh, gonna be a fun hike. We've been out here for three days. No food, no water. It's like the office episode. Yep, I'm, we're about to eat some mushrooms. Yeah, hopefully Dwight will come save us. <laughs> Shout out the office, not a sponsored video. Whoever made these petroglyphs knew English, so I don't know. Look at all those chickens. These petroglyphs have been pretty sweet, but we gotta get out of here because some rain is a coming. We're not trying to get caught in that, but I would say that we have been out here. So, Logan, your thoughts on the petroglyphs? They're pretty cool, pretty old. Thought it was, this is a fun fact for you. Um, most of the petroglyphs were made by Native Americans, but some of them were made by Spaniards when they came in here to colonize and Christianize the area. Back to Joey. That is 
a fun fact. Leah, what have your thoughts been on the petroglyphs? They're pretty dope. There you have it. We are out here. Out here. We are out here. We're about to drink Death Wish coffee from an AeroPress. Not a sponsored video, but Death Wish, if you want to sponsor us, you can. And AeroPress, if you want to sponsor us, you can. Yeah, that's right, Tune. You better watch out. That stove is on fire. And um, Swashbuck Honey too as well. And hey, if Kelly. Nike wants to sponsor us, that'd hey, be Kelly. huge. Hey, let's Tune. play. Let's play a matching game. Okay, we can play the matching no, game. Presently playing Phase Ten, and we're out here. We just ate some delicious meats from Ryan Cole's grill. It was immense. How's it going, babe? Good. How'd you like your food? It was good. Any other things to report? Trip's been good. There you have it. Asher? What's up? Play some basketball. LeBron James. <laughs> That's right. Not a sponsor. But if LeBron James wants to sponsor this vlog. He can sponsor a million bucks. Yeah. Just a small donation of a million dollars. We're out here. Anna's so excited to go for a run. Isn't that right? Gideon's out here. <laughs> Leah, the best athlete that I know, getting ready to run. She's lacing up those Nike Freeze she's had for quite a while. <laughs> you can't see me because it's dark out, but we just went on a 25 minute run and Maddie took us through one of the most difficult hit workouts I've ever done, but it's over now. And so is the day. So the vlog is over, more vlog tomorrow. We're out here.